Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo for the file management system and this is JSP servlet project and for the backend it's using MySQL to store the database application is deployed over the Tomcat server so technically it's using JSP servlet HTML CSS Tomcat MySQL and and it's following the embassy architecture and you can see bean controller and model and util packages are there and it's using may want to manage the dependency okay to run the application just right click on the root folder of the application go to run as run on the server select like the server as a tomcat click on finish automatically application will launch uh, application will launch over the server over the browser <coughs> next you can see the option here login as about is uh, is there but when we log in, there are a multiple kind of user that will log in and perform the operation. If you are a new user or a customer, we have option here to click and register. Uh, we'll register it later. Uh, also, we can fill up that some dummy data and click on the sign up. You can see the user is registered successfully. Now, if I move to the login uh, and I can check the user table here under the user table. So this is your database, backend database that is stored into the MySQL. Go to the user table, right click on here and check the users. So admin is there and the end user is here. So when I go to log in as an admin, I need to insert the, this username admin and admin123 and admin123 is a password. And the role ID is one always for the admin and two for the other users. So I'm going to go to copy this username. I'm going to paste it here. Going to add a password. And now you can see I am logged in as an admin. So I have two options. I can do the I can view the list of crops. I can add the crops. So let's suppose if I'm gonna add the crop here, I just need to verify image path first. Okay, so let's do one new. So let's do one uh, new add on here to add a crop so i'm going to select the session season and i'm going to enter this demo crop demo crop select the start month select the end month let's suppose it's going to start from the seventh or eighth month and it will be end and twelfth month and i'm going to add some description i'm going to add an image of a crop so i'm just adding some dummy image so i'm not using real time images so let's suppose i'm going to upload this image that's it click on save the data is saved successfully so if i view the crop section i can see crop list i will see the newly added crop here there is no displaying something went wrong Let me check the database first. Another crop section. We have added a new crop here, and that is added by today only. Okay, something went wrong. Let me refresh the server and check all the thing is working fine. And we just go there, click on refresh. Okay, uh, over the next page, the data will be displayed. So I just forward to that. So I'm going to click on preview and click on next, click on next. Okay. Also, uh, I can see this data that is we have just added over there. So 10, 12, 13, 10, 16, 18. You can see that this is our recently added data currently showing two records in our uh, this list so these are the data that i can uh, just the, the, that i have just added i can perform the edit operation as an admin also i can add equipments here so if i want to add any equipment i can select the crop category select the name select the month range four month select the price enter the description again i added an image 
let me add the image click and save click and save when i view the equipment list again i will see some sort of list so i'm gonna check where is the data is available or not so you can see the 12th record is inserted currently next thing similarly i can add the pesticides and i can check the list of pesticide if you don't check and if you don't get any uh, your edit recorded you just click on the next go to the last record you will see that record over there okay next thing order report so if someone orders some pesticides or some equipment <clears throat> so it's kind of farmer shop so also a user can buy pesticides or equipments and that history of order will be displayed here and this is order report and i'm going to click on log out now i'm going to lo click login as a user and let's see what our user can perform over there so i just move to the user table and i copy the username for an existing user if you are a new user you can register from here so i'm going to enter the username i'm going to enter the password so i just log in as an existing user so i can see here the operations i will add what plants to plant like suppose i want to plant a tomato and this is the requirement for the tomato description as tomato for the view equipments i can view the available equipments but under this category we don't have any uh, equipments so i can check my profile i can do about us but here i have to check each and every categories for the pesticide the data is not available into the back end that's why it's not showing here so you can see for this rice we have some data under the equipments you can see here and let's suppose i want to buy this product i can click on the it card and i can update the record from here as well and i can go to the checkout pay option and i have to enter some data some dummy data here and click on the pay let's finish so pay again i have to enter some number and this is my grand total for the pool for this particular product that i buy for the rice so let's suppose i'm a customer i want to buy something related to the price related to the crop so i can check the crop list view pesticides i can view that pesticides i can view that thing so but uh, this data will be available only for uh, the crops that is added the data is added by the admin only but currently for this crop we don't have admin so our admin didn't add the data that's why it's not displaying so it's displaying only for the uh, crop list that is related to the rice okay so that's it uh, now if i go to my checkout it's showing zero but if i add something uh, i can see the data over there let's okay i click on the 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 equipments I add to card so now if i view my card i can see these options over there okay this is again my profile click on log out i just log out here if you are a new customer you can log in from here so this is complete demo of the form management or also you can say it's a shop for the farmers where they can aid the data and they can retrieve uh, they can uh, admin can aid the product and the other person or the customer can for all for the farmers can buy the product from there so if you want the source code, just mail us over the jcodeman at the gmail.com. You can WhatsApp us. The contact details are available in the quick corner. And uh, don't worry about the configuration and all. We have a support team, so they will help you to set up the complete project at your machine. Thank you.